In the last video we talked about nodes and tags, so let's start there. Um, we have a map, let's draw that. And we have points on the map, and we said that those points were called nodes, and that these nodes uh, consisted of a set of coordinates and tags, which were key value pairs. So this is great for points of interest, statues, uh, we said lamp posts, trash cans, anything that's just a point. Um, but this won't work for things that are more complex like lines, um, roads, or uh, rivers, or anything that needs to be represented as a line. So in OpenStreetMap we represent lines with uh, something we call ways. And essentially, ways are lines. And the way that uh, ways are represented in OpenStreetMap is actually that they are just a set of nodes, a collection of nodes. So here are some nodes, and we can draw a line that connects them. And this connection represents a collection of nodes. So um, this way contains four nodes, one, two, three, and four. Um, the other thing that's important to know about this is that the way actually contains the order in which the nodes appear. So I'm going to number these nodes here, one, two, three, and four. And that order will be significant. Uh, it's significant for two reasons. Uh, I'm going to draw another set of nodes here. So here's another four nodes. Um, we could, you know, if we didn't have the ordering, right, the, the direction of this, or the shape of this object, this, this line wouldn't be clear. So it could be like this, um, or it could be like this. So the ordering of the nodes, so one, two, three, four. That tells the computer what the shape of the object is. Um, usually when you're working with the an editor, you don't have to know about this. Uh, if you're working with an editor, it'll just be like you'll draw a node, you'll drag your mouse, you'll draw another node, or you'll click another, uh, uh, click on the screen and you'll draw another one. Uh, and you just keep going and it'll it'll worry about all the details for you, but inside the computer's representation, uh, it's it's a collection of nodes and they're ordered. If you're a computer science geek, uh, you could say that a way is a uh, ordered uh, ordered list. It's an ordered list of nodes, but let's not worry about that and let's not get mired in the details. Uh, the other thing to know about nodes, I'm sorry, about ways is that they uh, have the same tagging system as nodes do, so it's the same key value pair and the same tags. So let's let's go through a few uh, example ways and I'll make our little um, our little table here with K for key and V for value and uh, let's go through some examples. So if this if this way here, if that was um, let's say a river, uh, then we would then the uh, tag would be a waterway equals, equals river. And we said in the last video that uh, when we have a key value pair it's always key equals value, so waterway equals river. Um, if this was a walking path, for example, through a forest uh, or a hiking trail, um, we might say highway, oops, highway equals foot way. And if this were uh, a road, um, we don't know what kind of road it is, we could say highway equals road. Um, and I thought we would go through a little more practical examples, so let's clear the screen and let's draw a new map. And I'm going to draw 
First I'm going to actually draw some other points, some other nodes here. Um, and make this, uh, we think we, we had a cafe in our last one, so I'll make this a cafe. Uh, and the tag for this, uh, for cafe is amenity equals cafe. Equals cafe. And here's a gas station. Uh, I believe the tag for that is amenity equals fuel. Let's not worry about the exact tags right now. Uh, and I'm going to draw a, uh, a, a way that uh, has these on either side. So here's our way. And uh, we're going to, I'm just going to, for illustration purposes, number the nodes. Uh, in real life, you wouldn't have to, to know this. The computer is going to keep track of this for you. Um, but for our example, we'll do this. And uh, here I'm just going to write over here on this side the tags that we're going to use. And I'm not going to do the table thing. I'm just going to write it as you'd normally see it. So let's say this was a large street. Um, so that would be highway equals primary for a primary road. Um, and let's give this street a name. Uh, and the way we usually talk about a name in OpenStreetMap is with a name tag. So name equals main street. And you'll notice here some differences between this and the normal tags we've been using. Since this is an, a, little, a literal string, um, we're not putting any underscores. So this is the street name as it appears. Um, that's, it's also capitalized. So main is capitalized as is street. And we're not abbreviating the name street. So OK, so we've got our map here. We've got our amenities on either side. We've got our, um, our street, main street. Um, so now I've got a question, uh, which is, what direction is the traffic flowing on the street? And how do we determine that? Well, the answer is that the order in which the nodes appear is the order in which traffic flows. So in this example, traffic is flowing from west to east. So we're going to assume that this is a normal map with um, west on the left and uh, east on the right and north at the top and south at the bottom. So here you know you can see that the first node is toward the west and the last node is toward the east. That means that this is a street in which traffic flows from west to east. If we had if we wanted a street where traffic f flowed from north to south, we would represent it like this. Um, and it would be, you know, one, two, three, four. Or if it was traffic flowing from south to north, um, we would do. And again, this order is usually implied when you're drawing it out. But I just wanted to illustrate for for the purposes of this discussion that the that the ordering is explicit, and the ordering, and usually that's done when you draw the uh, the the way the the order in which you draw the nodes will change the order in which it appears in the, the way, which, uh, which is uh, representing the ordering, um, the, sorry, the direction of traffic. Uh, this would also, this is also how we represent um, usually any kind of flow. So rivers, if, if uh, we talk about what direction the water is flowing in the river, it's done the same way. So that's it for now. Uh, next video, we'll, we'll keep going on this topic, but I think we should, this is a good place to stop.